Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be going over a quick tip for motion graphics. This is using the trim path. This is an animation you can use for anything that has a stroke or a path on it. Uh, today we're just going to be tossing it on a shape layer to make these this uh, circles that you're seeing on screen right now. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. You're going to go up to composition and uh, create your new composition, however big, you know, FPS, anything you want it to be. And then next thing you're going to do is go ahead and go up to layer, new, and put a shape layer down. From here, we're going to go ahead and grab our circle ellipse tool. So it's right here underneath layer. It should be, it might be a square or a circle or a star or whatever. If it's not a circle, go ahead and click and hold and then go over and hit ellipse tool. So you're going to go, you're going to click in the middle and then drag out while holding control and shift to give you a uniform circle that expands from the center and then we only want the stroke for this so if you go ahead and click down on the ellipse one and hit the eyeball for the fill that will turn the fill off and you'll be left with the stroke so we're gonna uh, change the color here so it's a little bit easier to see we'll pick a red for this and make the stroke with a little bit thicker there we go that looks about fine and then the next thing you're gonna want to do is select the ellipse Go over here to add it should be uh, underneath the track mat column here and then you're going to click on that and hit trim paths so this is going to make a new drop down tab and what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to reveal the layer along the path that's uh, created so along the ellipse path so we're just going to go ahead and throw it all the way down to zero click our stopwatch here to start a keyframe and then go about maybe half a second or so forward and then put the keyframe up to 100 and then from there you can click and hold and drag to select all those two keyframes and then hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease the keyframes in and that's just a shortcut that you guys can use so if we ram preview it right now you see it comes in nice and smooth and then from here that's basically all you need to know but we can make it look a little we can you know, make it look pretty here for a second, so let's just go ahead and duplicate this ellipse a couple times. And on each of these, we're going to change the color. So we're going to select ellipse 2, and we're going to pick, let's see, let's try to get like maybe a gold color going here. So we're going to go down to the stroke, go ahead and change this to something else, change it to a, a yellow tannish color, go that looks fine, and then we're going to go up to the top ellipse and we're going to change that stroke color to I don't know maybe like a silver or gray or something this is probably gonna look like trash but you get your you'll get the gist of it don't worry <laughs> all right so next thing we're going to do is hit U on our keyboard while the shape layer is selected to bring up all the active keyframes and we're just going to offset them a little bit that way you can see all three layers coming in so now if we ram preview you can see them all come through. Perfect. And then the last thing I did on the example was create a uh, basically the same thing, but the whole circle appeared in the same manner. So what you're going to do for that is go ahead and go back up to your ellipse tool, make sure you're still on the shape layer, and you're going to create another circle, but this time it's going to be smaller. And to make sure it fills up the entire space, what you want to do is go and just make the stroke really big until it fills in, uh, until it creates a perfect circle. So you're going to have to play with the stroke width and along with the path size to get it so it's not showing up on the outside, but it's still uh, completing the circle. So if we put it on a full resolution here, just so we can make sure we got this little inside dot filled up. There we go. That's about good. Now you see this white circle in the background. I'm just going to change that color to something else so it's a little bit easier to see. And now we're going to do the same process with adding the trim paths. Go ahead, toss that on there. Instead of going from the end, going from uh, 0 to 100, we're actually going to have the start of it start at 100 and then go down to 0. And that will reveal the circle, it will reveal the path in the opposite direction have that go down to zero and I'll come in from the counterclockwise direction and we're just gonna easy ease those keyframes in again and because we want this to happen after our outline appears and behind it 
we're just going to click and drag the lips 4 down to the bottom. And we're also going to hit U on our keyboard again and make sure the keyframes for that are happening after everything else. So with this final RAM preview, you'll see it all coming together now. And now it's completed. And also, uh, if you want to use the preset, if you want to use what I did in the beginning, you can go ahead and download the preset. That will be in the description. All you have to do is download the preset, go find your After Effects folder, and move it into the user presets folder, and it will be right there. If you want to see how it works, all you have to do is create a new, uh, a new shape layer. Turn this one off. And then simply look up SRN underscore trim pass and drag it onto that layer and it will show up for you. Or at least it should show up for you here. Hold on. So yeah, all you gotta do is click and drag it on there and it'll go ahead and appear for you. Just like that. And you can go in and change the colors or anything you need to do. Well anyway you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. Leave a like and I've been Soren and I'm out. See ya.